Welcome to my first Blender tutorial. Today I will be introducing you in the basics of Blender physics. So you can make animations like this one. And now the explanation. It's really surprisingly easy to do this. So first I'm gonna um, create a little setup right here with a plane. And I'm gonna bring some color in just to make it beautiful. The plane's gonna be green and the cube is just gonna be blue so yeah what do you wanna do next you wanna go into your user preferences and you wanna type in here cell, oops, um, cell and then you just tick it and then you can X out that gives you a new option here cell fracture but before you go on cell fracture you just wanna where is it you just wanna subdivide it into a lot of little pieces and now you can get back to object mode and you can go to cell fracture. I'm just going to move it over here so you can you guys can see what's going on. Cell fracture, you don't mess with these settings. Just don't. Just click OK. And wait for it. Doesn't that look beautiful? It's dividing it into tiny random pieces. That might take a while. Just wait. Just be patient. So, yeah. It's done. But, huh? That didn't change anything. Yep, it's on layer 2 for some weird reason. So what I usually do, I go back to layer 1, delete the normal cube, go to layer 2, highlight it, pressing B and then just dragging, so like this, B, and then you drag and then you get everything, and then press M, and then you just go and move to layer 1. And it's here on layer 1. And I click play, and ooh, nothing happens. Yep, you have to go on the plane, and now we're getting into the physics. The plane, it's the ground, it's the world, so it's passive, you click on add passive. And this cube, you want it active, right? You have to select everything first, that's gonna be a little... Wait. Um, you need to find like a right angle, where you can like just select the cube and nothing else. And you add it to active, because it's gonna be moving. It gets a green outline, which means it's active. So yeah, see if anything happens in the play. Boom. There you go. Isn't that so easy? So again. You go to file, you go to user preferences, you you um you activate the cell fracture, then you make a cell fracture on the cube, you move it back to layer one, you set the plane so everything that's not gonna be moving to passive, and you set the cube to active. And there you go. Now what you can do, you can like move the plane down, and now the cube falls, and boom. Isn't that so cool? One thing to mess around with, um, you go to the cube, you gotta select it. So you're basically done, this is just something you can add. It is here in the um in these options, that's where you can find it. And then you can enable like bounciness and you can make the friction maybe low, so if it falls down now. So you every time you wanna um change anything in the settings, just go back to frame zero and play it again. Then you see this yellow line here and everything's like starting over. So you can see how the parts like slide a little because I turned the friction down. And there's actually a part falling off the edge. Isn't that so cool? That is Blender physics. You don't have to animate every single part. It's just a Blender physics and that's pretty awesome.